Hey guys, it's Charlie. It's the 24th of April, Saturday. Uh, I just finished a little bit ago doing a the radio show with Eric Lovely, The Lion's Den, um, on Freedomizer Radio. And I wanted to do a video touching on uh, a subject that we brought up. It was an email that he had received at Freedomizer Radio, and it was addressed to him and I, and uh, basically saying that we're missing the picture, we should be talking about the successes of this administration in spreading democracy in Afghanistan and the historic health care legislation. And in reading the email, it truly uh, sounds like talking points from, uh, you know, from the, the press corps, that the Gibbs would give the press corps, bullet points of the day. And I wanted to do a video talking specifically to those people who are taking the time to send me comments or send me messages or Eric or other people like us trying to, uh, you know, I don't think he's trying to convert us because you're not that stupid. I, I think you want your comments uh, put on uh, our videos so that people will read them and maybe you'll, you know, get the herd mentality on your side. And I, that's fine. Post your the troll comments all you want. I really don't care. I don't delete comments from my channel. Um, the only time I've ever blocked anybody is when they've attacked somebody else. Uh, so feel free to post all the ridiculous comments that you like. Uh, it, they will fall on deaf ears on this channel, without a doubt. Just know that. But let me address something uh, more specifically directly to you. You are the one sitting there typing away or typing an email saying that we should all fall lockstep in, in love with this administration. You're the one that's being fooled the absolute most. Okay, because most of the people that watch this uh, this channel, they realize that there is no difference between the left and the right. You know, I have no animosity towards this administration any more than I did against the Bush administration, because I'm not stupid enough to believe that there's a difference between them. The only difference between them is how they control you and how they uh, gin up anger and hatred in you, not me. I don't think that uh, Barack Obama is any different than George W. Bush. Now, that might come as a shock to you, but when you step back and take a look at the big picture, the real picture, you tell me, is there a difference? Is there a difference in Afghanistan right now? Yeah, we have more troops there. Is there a difference in Iraq? No, we're still there. We're still losing troops. We're still uh, causing mass local casualties. Nothing has changed, okay? A, a year, over a year into this administration, nothing has changed. Now, they count on you being simple enough to be talked into the reason why we're still there or why we need to do this. The fact of the matter is simple. If the goal was to end torture in Guantanamo or to end the prison in Guantanamo, they could shut it down overnight. If they wanted the troops out of Iraq, they could get them out of there in a couple months. If they want them in, out of Afghanistan, well, you know what? Guess what? They could just say, we're done. We're leaving. We're done. But they've always got an excuse for why we need to be at war, why we need to invade this country, why we need to have military bases in that country. And when they do pull out, look at the footprint left behind. We're not leaving Iraq until we have a multi-acre, multi-billion dollar, largest embassy in the history of the world in downtown Baghdad. Now, they're going to call that the uh, withdrawal of troops. But the fact of the matter is, we'll probably have enough troops in that multi-acre, hundreds of billion of dollar facility to invade the country over again. When we leave Afghanistan, you can be rest assured that the people we want in power are there. And the reasons that we are there controlling oil flow, controlling natural gas flow, controlling poppy flow, those reasons will be taken care of before we leave. We don't go to countries like Burma, where their, their own tyrannical government chops up the people in the middle of the street for protesting. We don't even hear about them. Why? But because the same corporate elite that uh, pay for the uh, presidencies of people like Obama and Bush also pay for the media that you get to hear. So when you sit there and you are all excited that your guy's in the office and that your agenda is going to get put forward, don't be naive. Take a look at what really happens uh, with our government. Do you think health care 
is really fixed now that uh, it's mandated that everybody buys insurance? Absolutely not. The only thing that happened is now to be a citizen of this nation, you're going to have to own a policy. To be a citizen of this nation, you're going to have to pay a subsidy, a welfare tax to corporations, the same very corporations that you claim to hate. They're not going away. They're becoming larger and more powerful. Same thing with attacking Goldman Sachs. Do you really think this is an attack on Wall Street, on Goldman Sachs, the most profitable company in the history of Wall Street? Do you think that's what we're doing is going after them? Stop drinking the Kool-Aid. We are not going after Goldman Sachs. We are going after the idea of Goldman Sachs because they're the only thing less popular than Congress right now. We're going to demonize them so we can pass legislation and give them more power in a nutshell. At the end of the day, the Federal Reserve will have even more power over the, quote, uh, too big to fails and the uh, systemic nature of the financial system than they've ever had before. Goldman Sachs isn't going anywhere. Goldman Sachs paid a million dollars to the Obama uh, campaign fund. They're not going anywhere. Just like they paid nearly the same amount to the McCain campaign fund. You need to wake up and smell the coffee. The fact of the matter is, Democrats, Republicans, Republicans, Democrats, there is no difference. One body, two-headed monster. That's what we have in D.C., plain and simple. That's all I got.